In 2018, a high school math teacher in the USA who goes by the online handle Robert Loves Pie, math teacher confirmed, discovered a family of eight shapes which are built using solely kites and rhombuses. And when they came out, they kind of languished on this obscure website. I was like, that's a real shame. These are amazing shapes. In fact, this one is my favorite. It should not be hidden away. It should be viewed by, let's say, 25,000 people. That would be appropriate, which is why we have built a few of them and put them up here at the big festival. The plan was to build two giant versions of this shape to install outside the cheese hub, each of those made from 150 pieces of laser cut mirror finish acrylic. And then inside the cheese hub, we were gonna make four smaller ones that were small enough to put actually up above the dance floor itself. We were gonna build one of these in the lead up to the actual festival as a trial run, and the remaining three would be built during the festival itself. But the question we kept getting asked was, what on earth is this shape actually named? This shape is so new, it hasn't even got a catchy name. I mean, it's got the boring name because it's got 150 faces. So that makes it a hector pentaconta hedron, 150 faces. Technically, it's a kite rhombus hector pentaconta hedron because it's got kites and rhombuses as the faces. But it's a shame there's no real good name. We, I guess you could describe it based on how it's built. So this shape is actually based on a dodecahedron. A dodecahedron is one of the platonic solids. There are five of them, only five. If you take a dodecahedron and you explode it, so you move all the faces out, you can fill the gaps with equilateral triangles and squares. Those are both regular polygons. So this is kind of like a platonic solid in that all the faces are regular, but it's not because they're different. We call that an Archimedean solid and there are 13 more of those and we can get another one just by twisting the pentagons because those squares turn into rhombuses which we can then split into two equilateral triangles and this is the snub dodecahedron one of the 13 Archimedean solids and this was well, kind of a snub dodecahedron but combined with its dual shape so to get the dual of a shape you link together the centers of all the faces into vertices of some second shape. And the dual of a dodecahedron is an icosahedron. The dual of an icosahedron is a dodecahedron. The dual of a snub dodecahedron is a pentagonal hexacontahedron, which just means it's a 60 face shape where each face is a pentagon, but not a regular one, weird kind of pointy ones. My favorite pentagon, if I may. And because these are jewels, you can put one inside the other and actually you enlarge the middle one so that they have edges that intersect. And this is now a compound shape of the snub dodecahedron and its jewel. That is the convex hull of that shape, which means if you join together all the pointing out vertices, all the ones that stick out the most, and you make a new shape out of that, it's the smallest possible shape that's convex and can contain the previous compound shape. So I guess the other name for that is it's the convex hull of the compound shape formed by the snub dodecahedron and its dual, the pentagonal hexacontahedron. That's just a lot less catchy. So why have I built two of the shape that's called that thing and brought them here to the big festival? Well, the reason I'm here specifically is the big festival is the brainchild of Alex James, who is the bass guitarist of the band Blur. Some of you may remember if you're old. Yeah, within 24 hours of saying that, I found out Blur were reforming to go on tour and release a new album, links below. And bear with me here, Alex James, as well as being a bass player, also became a farmer, makes cheese. This is Alex James Farm, hosts the big festival. That is his cheese hub, where he sells cheese and has DJs. It's a lot of fun. And it turns out, he's a big fan of maths videos on YouTube. Who knew? So we got in touch. I said, look, we should do a mass building thing. And because there are DJs in there, I thought I'd make a geometric mirror ball to go with the dance floor. And I was thinking, well, I need a shape that anyone can enjoy. You can look at it, it looks like fun, but also it's quite mathematical. And then it dawned on me, if I pick this specific one of the eight different kite rhombi shapes, 
it's got chirality, which means there's a left-handed and a right-handed one. When you snub that dodecahedron, you've got a choice which way you twist the pentagons. And because it's got a mirror image that's different, we can build both of them, and you may not have noticed, but they are rotating in opposite directions. This is a set of mirrored mirror balls. They're each other's mirror image, and they're made of mirrors. I am way too pleased with this, but I am I'm beside myself. Me and my mirror image, I'm very pleased with this. But you think, how do you cable tie together 150 pieces of laser cut mirrored acrylic per ball? Well, thankfully, that happened in the past. It's a week and a half ago. Behind me, they're still building the site. The main stage has been going up today. Very exciting. And you know it's the past, because you can see on top of that pole, there are no mirror balls. That's yet to come. And the cheese hub is still all boarded up. But inside, the balls are being built. Welcome to the ball lab. They are under construction, but it means you can still see inside them. So right in the very center is a dodecahedron. That's where all the supports are mounted. And then there's one support for each of where the five kites meet at a vertex. And then to stop these from moving around, as well as being locked in the dodecahedron in the center, they're strapped together. But these straps have formed an icosahedron. And the reason that's happened is because the dodecahedron and the icosahedron are dual shapes. So when these come out of the faces and then form a vertex, you get the icosahedron. So not only is the notion of a dual shape used conceptually to design the ball in theory, totally unrelated, practically, we needed dual shapes to make the physical structure. It's, it's mass all the way down. We're doing the test install of the mini ball, just to see how it all lines up, get in the right spot. Tony here's just sorting out how we're going to attach it to and cut the chain. The issue is, once you've built it, you can't put it down. So my job, just got to hold it. I feel like I'm doing a good job. I got a, I got a lot of balls to keep in the air. The balls are finished. All we have to do now is get them up to the top of this tower in this cherry picker right here. And I'm going to go up and help, which is to say I'm allowed to clip on and tag along. why we actually did this. Why did we do this? Well, this is the whole joy of organizing a sort of big crazy event. Like you can do stupid stuff that you yeah. just wouldn't do anywhere else. Oh man, what a moment. This is, uh, this may be my proudest achievement. It was the festival itself. The small balls were being made during the event. And as they were finished, we installed them one at a time above the dance floor. Good morning and welcome to the pre-DJ Cheese Hub. We're in here doing some building and you can see the fruits, the balls of our labor hanging uh, up here. So we've got the two small ones on this side of the dance floor. Uh, Dick and Don were DJing last night with these spinning up there, but very sadly, look at the empty void. The space where there should be two more of these. I believe uh, Simon Pegg is in doing a DJ set tonight, so we have to get those up in time, which is why we have the whole team uh, on hand, building away. We've got all our favorites. We've got Matt Scroggs over here. We've got Paul Taylor. They're not allowed to stop working while I say this. Kenny Steckles is over there wrangling the tape. Excellent. And Lisa Mather is uh, here dealing with the cable tie. Uh, so yeah, so we're here. We're both building these and we've got some origami activities for any families that come along and they want to make something that hasn't got sharp edges. There you are, but given it's still quite early in the morning, there's not that many people here, this will get busier and busier, and then when the DJs kick in, hopefully, we'll have the last two balls up there. And we are done. We've got two giant mirror balls out the front. We've got four medium mirror balls 
out the back and with some waving people behind me. Ah, filming at a festival. So now, all we have to do is wait for the sun to go down because Alex James got the person who normally does the lighting design for the Blur live shows to point some lights at this. So once it gets dark, they should look even more spectacular. Thanks so much for watching my oh. Thanks so much for watching my video about the mirrored mirror ball. Huge thanks to Alex James and the whole team for helping out. Thanks to all the build volunteers. Thanks to Sam and Lisa and David who designed the ball. And thanks to oh. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out these other videos you might like.